Hello again YouTube, back again with another update video on the Redmi 1S. This time it is MIUI 7, finally! Released on 24th of August, this is the Global Developer Beta. You can download it and flash it, but before that, always do the backup. You can download it in the links in the description. Now, what is changed? Well, not that much. Because the thing is, well, usually uh, if an OS change from MIUI from 4 to 5, it is everything change. So this one, 6 to 7, not really much. Uh, first of all is the themes. Now there is 4 new themes beside the default. And that is the High Life, Pink Blush, Rose and Ocean Breeze. The High Life got a... Uh, more cool tint to it, pink blush for curls, or maybe well, you can use it as well. Uh, rose, rose, and ocean breeze with blue sea on it. Uh, the first time you install the global developer beta, you might might actually get this, or you might actually not. Uh, the fix is pretty easy. There's actually another video that I'm going to make in order to fix this problem. Now, uh, frankly speaking, the looks of it doesn't really change that much. Probably like this settings button. Now, uh, the color is gray. Before it was blue. And some other stuff like the tools, me account, logo is changed. Uh, very subtle. Radio from red becomes cyan. Not really a lot, yeah, it's more likely, but it says that performance is going to be increased. Well, let's find out, shall we? Let's see here, that is your system UI. It's a little bit different. Now you've got highlights for every single toggles that are active. So, let's see there, there's some animation to it as well. It's like, boop, boop, uh, torch does work, as you can see here. Uh, so yeah, you can actually differentiate it better from the inactive toggles and the active toggles. The music box, music uh, control is still there. And this is the notification. Slight difference, now there is this button. Block notification, so if there is some pesky notification kept bugging you just check that and you're going to block that notification from up here again which is nice uh, other stuff is let's try every single thing camera camera doesn't change in terms of the looks doesn't change you still got everything there timer manual you can change that and that you can Active that settings not really much change uh, from that switching from back to front facing camera is a little bit faster than before as you can see there it's almost instant now from the front facing camera you can see there timer button is right there for quick easy selfie snapshot now there is some slight difference if you notice from the previous MIUI 6, let's take a photo here. Okay, oh shit. Let's do that, okay. Capture the photo, you go to the gallery. Yeah, as you can see here, the gallery is a little bit different. Now it is white, so it is easier to see the controls. Before it was transparent, quite hard to see. And uh, let's see the info. The size now is real 8 megapixels. In the old one, it's just like 2400 by 3200. You lose a bit pixels, but then again, it's not really noticeable. But some people do notice it, and now they fixed it, which is nice. Uh, video mode works the same, just as usual. Uh, the time lapse still there, flash button still there. And yeah, not really much change. HDR works as well. 
which is nice. Okay, let's go back to. Uh, yep, one gig of RAM. And my UI sometimes it does this. It's a bit terrible. Let's swipe that off. Okay, uh, next thing, see the gallery here. As you can see now, it is white. Well, not really that great. I prefer the old one, but at least you can see it better. But the problem is with this beta, it's not really that smooth scrolling from top to bottom. It's a bit not very good, not very buttery smooth. And the scrubber bar right there, it's a bit different in design. Yeah, it is a little bit laggy, I don't know why. But just like that. Now there is people tab, so now you can see the tagged photos of your faces and your family faces. Okay, so next thing is the music. Music doesn't change that much either, but one thing that I do notice is that. See? See that little round thingy there? The scrubber bar. It's now there. The old MIUI 6 doesn't have it, it's more like just a bar, it's very hard to see. Now it is like a scrubber bar like this, much easier to get. Now in the headphones and audio effects, things that I did notice here, there's addition of youth edition and me headphones, if you own one, that's the thing. Uh, not very really much change for this, it's still the same. As far as the lock screen goes, it's pretty much the same as well. Not much change. Uh, themes, just like that. Settings. Let's see the settings. It is now a little bit different. It is more organized. Stack size. As the big feature in MIUI 7 is the text size. And now you can see the huge ones. XXL. Yep. For you that uh, having difficulties re reading small text, this is for you. As you can see there, I leave that for small. Uh, other stuff, chart mode. Now you can select which app that is just going to show. Let's see, you're going to use a patch pin. Uh, let's set it up here. So, if you exit from here, only the apps that you have been selected is only there. So if you do lock the phone, then you open open it, just there. Can't go with notification, can't go that. Exit, pin again. Simple as that. Very easy. Let's get, get back to settings. Now, as you can see there, system apps. Before, everything there is it's just like in the front page which is very frustrating if you want to go to the bottom it's very take a long time now it is organized which is nice uh, about phone yep here it is here it is bit of a shame still on KitKat why in the era of marshmallow we still get KitKat yeah well, they they just they gave us the lollipop animation there, as you can see, just to uh, get that a little bit of the lollipop taste. But in reality, we didn't. Although, yeah, the performance definitely increased a little bit, but not really in a major way. I do notice it, but well, it just slightly faster, I would say. But hey. Faster is faster, so it is an improvement, which is very, very good. Now, let's see other stuff, like security, like a little bit has changed, like in here. As you can see, now it shows us the details of every single chunk that is on our phone. As you can see, you can also clean the memory, like that, then finish cleaning. The usage, uh, Opera Max 
it says that it's going to be included but in here I can't find it I think it's not ready yet for now block list is saying battery battery life is actually very good uh, for th this past day I use it I'm at 63% and look screen on time 2 hours and 5 minutes very good I would say let's see the history there uh, slight change there is like a line going across now rather than just the left side as you can see there battery life is actually very very good a slight improvement from MI UI6 oh yeah forgot to do that uh, because this is a global developer beta it's not pre-rooted you can root it with SuperSU uh, link in the description if you wanted to root this uh, let's see the tools now um, account just slight difference updater a difference uh, the clock does not change at all recorder still the same as well radio uh, only thing different is the icon now it's cyan calculator oh, not much change as well compass later see still the same before scanners is the same report back downloads all still the same phone nothing change messaging nothing change contacts well slight difference now in the default slight color difference and this changes according to your theme and that's it pretty much a browser not much changes as well in fact nothing has changed with the browser as well so let's see calendar not changed it at all as well uh, notes not changed as well uh, weather slight difference in the icon but inside still the same old weather app as you can see there the rain you can play with it just do it like that the rain follows your phone bit neat uh, file explorer now it is more organized now and there is like recent new files so you don't have to search for your file where the hell is my file my new file and eh, there you go sorted that for you this is for going to file explorer uh, clean up FTP now there other stuff is pretty much the same super SU is installed after you install this zip and yeah overall the performance is pretty good I would say free amount of RAM now that much clear it 345 a lot more than the MYUI 6 and if your phone just recently woken up or restarted you will get let's see where it's a screenshot there you go 475 megabytes saucy very nice so yeah that's about it really not a lot here on the MIUI 7 I hope that Xiaomi will update it to the lollipop at least for us yeah so that's it pretty much not a lot for this this time I hope that Xiaomi added more stuff in the next updates or probably fix some bug that might be there so far actually so good pretty nice yeah okay for uh, oh yeah one-handed mode before we finish this video slight change now it shows you the animation on how to do it which is nice if you don't know how to do it and oh yeah slight difference as well in display and color saturation a bit different before it was like a strawberry now it's changed like that but it's very minor change okay for thanks for watching till now uh,
be sure to subscribe, like and comment on my video and be sure to check out probably there's new update video about tips and tricks about phones and all things technology. As always, thanks for watching.